What's up, heroes? Mike here, and welcome back to another Elden Ring build guide video I have for you today. I call this Devour of Life, uh, utilizing a very unique and cool weapon here, as you can see, as well as uh, armor set here is just kind of whatever I just put together, just because <laughs> technically you can use whatever armor set you want with this build, as long as you don't fat roll. So let's get into it. Start with the attributes here. This is a level 150 build, Vigor at 50 to give you a nice tanky health pool. Mind is at 27 because we're mainly just utilizing the uh weapon skill. We are using some incantations, but 27 is a nice okay spot for this for now. Uh, if you want to switch some things out to try and help build up that mind a bit more, up to you. Endurance at 25, nice amount of stamina to get off our attacks, as well as not fat roll with the armor we have on. Uh, like I said, if you want to adjust that as well, too, you may do so to sort of fit your more of your play style. Uh, but definitely I would suggest keep strength at 50 though just so because the weapon scales with strength and it requires 20 dex as well uh, so but strength strength is the better option to upgrade with this weapon it scales more with that faith I did that because of God Slayer seal and we're doing some black flame incantations with this to sort of help with the theme of it because this weapon is has some fire uh, damage in it too so faith is you're gonna get the 40 uh, Talos will get to 45. Let's go ahead. Uh, Devourer Scepter is what it's called. It has Devourer of the War of Worlds as the unique skill on it. Uh, charge Scepter with magic and strike it against the ground to steal the HP of, of all nearby enemies. So, nice life steal. God Slayer Seal because the boost glats are incantations with the Black Flame. Like I said, armor is whatever, you know, whatever you want to feel like. I just feel like putting this stuff together, to be honest. <laughs> Talismans though, uh, Dragon Crest Great Shield Talisman to bounce out damage and mitigation because we also have the Fire Scorpion Charm on here to help with fire damage with the weapon and with incantations we're using. Carrying Filigree Crest because we need to lower the FP cost of the skill because this is 27. Without this on here, it goes up to 35. This is, it has a high FP cost. And then to help with Faith, we got Two Fingers Heirloom on there. So as far as the incantations, pretty standard stuff when you're using a black flame mixed in type of build here. Black flame with uh, scoring black flame. Wow, why did I have trouble saying that? <laughs> black flame ritual and black flames protection. So very nice there to utilize and why not utilize that now? go ahead and attract these guys i'll lose a bit of hp and we're gonna get it right back there we go that's not the amount i want to lose but it will do it does take a bit of time to start up though so you gotta be careful but we get it right back three enemies down destroyed wrecked however you want to call it we're just gonna jump attack these guys we got a guy on horseback coming at us hey how's it going No! Ah, uh, I tried to hit him before he hit me. <laughs> Let's go. You sit down, sir. Oh god, the sun. Why is it so bright right now in this game? Holy hell. That is like the first time we're seeing that happen. <laughs> the sun is basically blinding. Alright, so take that off. We'll do the scoring. Oh, you lived? You should have died from that. Well, you're dead now. You're a dead now guy. The scoring Black Flame should have killed both instantly, though. But it's okay. That did very little damage. I'm kind of surprised about that. I honestly thought it was going to do more. Okay. That is okay. I'll try it again. Double handed. And destroyed. But did do more. Maybe I was just too far away earlier, but that is the build with this. Unique design with that serpent on it though. If you're into that kind of thing. 
so i hope you enjoyed this please drop a like if you did subscribe if you're new i got plenty more build videos coming at you soon here so stay tuned my name is mike and i'll see you next time <laughs>